hi viewers so today we'll be talking about uh, extra commands from the draw menu so in particular we'll be talking about the polygon the rectangle and the helix option so let me click on the polygon option so as I said earlier that you always have to look for the command line what to do next here at the command line it is asking us to enter the number of sides so if you want to draw a rectangle you have to let it be 4 and then just click enter now if you want to draw a pentagon the number of sides in the pentagon will be 5 for hexagon 6 and similarly for octagon it will be 8 sides they are quite oftenly used so we'll be exploring these now there are differences in the type of polygons that we draw in the AutoCAD so in AutoCAD we draw regular polygon and that means that all the sides they are of equal length and all the angles all the internal angles they are equal as well so uh, if we want to draw a pentagon so that pentagon sides will be equal so uh, let us draw uh, a rectangle with the uh, polygon option and uh, enter the number of sides so it is 4 by default so let it be 4 we will enter and we have to specify the center of the polygon so let it be any place and let, uh, let's say uh, if I click over here now it is asking me the option of inscribed in circle or circumscribed about circle so first we'll uh, explore the inscribed in circle and now we can see that a rectangle can be drawn but it is asking us about specify radius of the circle so here so let us give it the radius of 8 and enter so we can see that a rectangle has been drawn now to check whether the radius is exactly 8 or not let us draw a circle we will consider circle command uh, in the next video but uh, for simplicity uh, let's draw a circle as well so uh, for the circle it is asking us to specify the center point of the circle so let us trace the midpoints of this side and this side as well so now we can see we can get an intersection we'll just click over here and let us write because it is asking us about the radius of the circle now in the command line so let us give it the value of 8 as we have given 8 in the case of polygon so now we can see that this rectangle is inside this circle whose radius is 8 and that's what the option tells us about the inscribed or circumscribed option now again let us go to the draw click on polygon let the side be 4 again we want to draw a rectangle so uh, because now uh, in polygon all the sides are equal so this rectangle will be a square and as we can see it is a square now uh, we have to specify the center of the square as well so we'll click on the same center and let us export the option of circumscribed about a circle right and now it is asking us about the radius of the circle let's give it the same radius of 8 enter and now we can see that this rectangle is uh, encompassing the circle like it is circumscribed about the circle the first one was inscribed in the circle and the second one is circumscribed about the circle right let me click on the LWT so you would know so you can see it clearly so this is the uh, difference between the circumscribed the first one is uh, inscribed this one and the second one is circumscribed polygon and in this case it is a square now let's draw a pentagon as well so let us draw some circle so we don't have to look for the center again and again and we won't have to trace it like uh, radius of 8 and again circle radius of 8 
so in this circle we will draw pentagon inscribed and uncircumscribed and in so let us go to the draw menu click on polygon let the side be 5 now because we are drawing a pentagon now center so specify center of the polygon so let us click on the center click on inscribed and let the radius be 8 enter so it is inscribed in the circle again if uh, we want to draw a pentagon or any polygon now if you want to go back to the polygon menu we don't have to uh, go to the draw menu and then click on the polygon we, we will just press enter so let me press enter we are back in the polygon menu number of side 5 is ok enter specify center center is the same now we will click on the circumscribe this time and let the center be because it is asking for the center now uh, it is let it be 8 mm so 8 enter now again you can see that the circumscribed polygon or pentagon in this case is circumscribed about this circle and the first polygon was inscribed inside the circle right so that is the difference between the two now uh, there is another method uh, these two were created with the help of center method now we will apply edge method right so again we will go to draw polygon let it be octagon now so you will enter the sides as 8 enter now click on center but but now we don't want to uh, use the center method we want to use the edge method which is an option over here edge which has e capital so in order to activate that option we have to write e or in small e and enter now it is asking us to specify first end point of the edge so we can click anywhere we want now you can see an an octagon has been formed we just have to give the first end point of the edge like this is the starting point of the edge what will be the edge length so we can just give it a value like uh, 15 or we can say 10 enter you can say 10 enter right so now we can check whether the side length is 10 or not from this point to this point grab it over here zoom it to check it is really 10 value so let it be deleted right so this is the method of edge for polygon drawing so we might be using this edge method or the center method depending on the information given in the diagram and we will discuss it when we draw uh, different uh, objects in practice sessions so the next thing that we want to explore is rectangle command so if you click on the rectangle option the AutoCAD is asking us for specifying first corner point so let it be this point you can also select an important point like already drawn object endpoint but uh, for simplicity let me click at the empty space let it be this place right so I have clicked over here now I am moving the cursor all right and here I can see the rectangle how it will look like I can give specific dimensions so here it is asking for a specify other corner point or area or dimensions or rotations so i'll give the dimensions and here along with the cursor you can see two boxes where the one value is 10 point something and the other value is minus 15 point something because we have moved the cursor in the positive x direction and negative y direction you can also see the values to be positive or negative accordingly so here uh, we want a rectangle to be drawn of uh, uh, sides such as in the x direction it should be 10 and in the y direction it should be 20 so it will be longer in the y axis direction right and for 20 value to be entered in in the box i have to press tab first so when i press tab now the 10 is fixed 
the next tab is opened and we can give it a value of minus 20 and when we press enter you can see a rectangle of specific dimensions is drawn right now the next command that we want to look upon is helix so helix we know has a spiral shape so in in helix uh, regarding the geometry of helix we can observe that helix has a base circle has a top circle uh, we have to specify the base circle point and the height of the helix as well so other things include the number of turns etc we can also change that uh, you know in uh, by default the number of turns they are equal to three turns so first uh, we can specify the center point of the base let it be you know the midpoint of this rectangle like we have traced uh, both the midpoints and we got the intersection the perpendicular intersection and we have to just click now we can specify uh, because it is asking us for the base radius now let it be 3 3 enter and it is asking us for the base uh, for the top radius now let it be 3 again and the height of the helix let it be 20 enter now we can't see the 3d view in uh, in this window so in order to visualize it in the 3d we have to click on the isometric view like here so we can see that this is the object this is the helix which is drawn and we can see that um, if you want to go to the orbit free orbit we can visualize how the spring or the spir spiral shape looks like right now we can see that the top and the bottom radiuses they are the same equal to 3 so that's why in the top view because you are drawing in the top view we can't see the difference but in the 3d view we can see that there are number of turns now if we want to change the number of turns uh, what we have to do we have to go to the isometric view we have to click on the spiral shape and here we will look for turns like here turns equal to 3 if you want to increase it to 10 enter you can see that now the number of turns they are increased to 10 similarly if you want to have a spiral shape of varying diameter which has an initial diameter of uh, some value and final diameter is changed top diameter is changed from the base diameter so then uh, what we should do uh, let's go to the top view again go to draw helix let's draw let's draw a helix aligned with the first one so let's click uh, for the center point of the base because it is asking for the center point of the base so let's click over here give the base diameter sorry base radius is 3 enter top radius let it be 6 enter helix height let it be 20 again a helix has been drawn now this looks like the spring or the spiral shape is opening up as it is going in the upward position so so let's visualize it in the isometric view now here we can see that the base radius is smaller and the top radius is larger and the number of turns are equal to 3 if you want to change that let's double click on this number of turns 3 let it be 10 enter here we can see that the spiral shape of varying diameter in the form of a tapered shape can be uh, visualized or formed so uh, this was all about the three commands in the draw menu polygon rectangle and helix and if you have any questions or any confusion in in this topic or in the commands you can always let me know in the comment section thank you for watching